Okay, uh, we're going to do 24C, analyze the anti-Vietnam War movement, the movement to end Vietnam War. It's going to be a short video. The student will analyze the impact of social change movements and organizations. We talked about these, uh, civil rights movement, the women's liberation movement already. Now we're on the anti-Vietnam War movement, and we said one of the organizations was SDS, Students for a Democratic Society. And so we're looking at this anti-Vietnam War movement. That's going to be our focus. Oh, uh, shoot. Let's see. That's not containment. Okay. Anti-Vietnam War movement is our element. And we're talking about social change movements and organizations here. Focus on anti-Vietnam War movement. Are these groups of college students that some people called hippies? Or uh, here's John Lennon here with his peace sign in there. There's a peace sign there. Some of the things they would say is make love, not war. In the war in Vietnam, resist the draft, don't register. These were called hippies. This is a group of college students and others throughout the United States that really their main purpose was to oppose the war in Vietnam. One of those groups, uh, flower children, were also a part of this. They'd ride around on buses that had paintings all over them with the peace signs and flowers, peace symbols. And another group was called the Students for a Democratic Society, SDS, was a socialist group at the college level, these youngsters that really criticized the government for racial discrimination. And in this standard, the war in Vietnam, they wanted to end. They criticized economic inequality in the United States and also criticized the underfunding of education which they thought the money spent on the war in Vietnam could be better spent at home on education for young young students so this is pretty much uh, we could go into this probably have a whole class on it but that's the anti-Vietnam war movement analyze anti-Vietnam war movement uh, good luck on the quiz test DOCT